All right, so I got an inequality here. X is less than four. Let's go ahead and graph that with inequalities. Then we're gonna make it a graph of interval notation and then we'll write interval notation. Klaus, what's the only number there? Four. Write it down. Show me with your fist, open or closed fist. Okay, I don't have an equal sign here. So that means it's gonna be an open circle. Make it a very clear open circle. Now, you will notice that many people, many textbooks actually put the solution, the colored line, on the number line. I don't like that because I can't see it, especially if you don't have highlighters. Okay? Class, do you think I'm going to go to the left or to the right? The arrow is pointing towards the left. Your variable is on the left. Remember, the mathematical representation is numbers that are smaller than four. Class, give me a number that's smaller than four. Three, two. Class, give me a number that is bigger than four. Six. Six is not less than four. That's why it's not in the pink area. The pink area is saying all of our solutions. Okay? Let's put this now in interval notation for a graph. Okay? Partner A, tell partner B, this symbol here, will it be a parentheses or a bracket? Raise your hand parentheses, raise your hand bracket. Okay, look, open circle, inequality, if you look up here, we're gonna be using a parentheses, okay? Now, pay attention. The parentheses is gonna be pointing this direction. The reason why is so that when i going to the left, you do the same thing. Class, how do you read uh, math expressions? Which direction? Left to right. So let's start over here on the left, okay? I don't have a symbol. I don't have a bracket or a parentheses yet. I have this arrow. Class, what does this arrow represent? All the numbers going to the left. Someone said infinity. <coughs> but what do you notice about those numbers if I keep going left? They're positive or negative numbers? Negative. <clears throat> Class, what symbol do I use always with either positive or negative infinity? You're always going to use a parenthesis. Always. Doesn't matter if it's positive or negative infinity. Here's another clue. On the left side of our interval, you will never have a positive infinity unless... Yeah, you'll never have one because you can't have infinity comma four. That wouldn't make sense. Okay. Left side, arrow, I have negative infinity. Let's go to the right side. What symbol is that, class? A parentheses. What number is there at that parentheses? Four. So my interval notation is parentheses, negative infinity, comma, four, uh, parentheses. It's basically saying that all the numbers from negative infinity to four are solutions, but don't include four. That's the same idea as you guys did with inequalities, x is less than 4.